There are two factors to take into consideration when you are looking for WordPress hosting, budget and support. Hosting companies have different selling points, but the product behind those is the same to host your website. Sure, hosting providers will have different tools that will help you, but in my opinion, most of them are just distractions or things that you will never use. Most important thing above all is support. How responsive they are, how professional and knowledgeable is the support team and if they really care about your problem. You don't want to end up with a broken website talking to a person that doesn't understand you or even worse, having no one to contact. Before I start, I want to let you know that I will not be comparing hosting providers or giving you any recommendations. The purpose of this video is just to give you something to think about before you sign up with a hosting provider. Let me talk about some misconceptions and some things that are not really true that you should be aware of. There is no such thing as WordPress hosting. A lot of hosting companies will tell you that they offer special hosting for WordPress. This is just a selling point, not something that you need. A WordPress website needs a Linux server and nothing more. Last time I checked, all hosting providers have Linux servers. Hosting providers with this special WordPress hosting will have some features that will help you manage a WordPress website, but don't consider this a must. Because this is a selling point, that hosting will be more expensive than another one that doesn't promise this. I had some bad experience with such hosting providers. One of them is WP Engine. They are way overpriced, the hosting quality is pretty poor, and the support is okay-ish. But this was just my experience. More expensive hosting means better hosting. This is just not true. Depending on your location, you should choose a hosting provider that have servers in your country. If you are in Europe, don't buy hosting from US hosting providers. You will have high ping time and your website can crash for no reason. Even if they have live support, they cannot replicate your issue because they are not in your location. You can fix this problem with a CDN service, but I will not count on it. If your website is international, it will be a good idea to get a hosting provider that has servers in multiple locations. Going back to my WP Engine example, I think you can get way better hosting elsewhere, cheaper, faster, and better support. Don't believe top hosting providers type articles. If you didn't figure it by now, let me tell you this. Those articles are not intended to promote the best hosting companies, are intended to promote the companies that are paying good affiliate commissions. So the first one on the list will pay the best commission to the person that is promoting it. I have nothing against affiliate marketing, but be honest in your comparison and don't push products that you are not using or didn't try. And even if you find an honest opinion on hosting providers, that doesn't mean it will be the best option for you. Don't buy impulsively. Go to the hosting provider's website and see if it meets your needs or not. It will take you about five minutes to do so. At the start of this video, I told you what I think are the most important things when choosing a hosting provider. And let me develop that point a bit. When you start a new website, you don't really need expensive and overkill hosting. You need hosting and that's it. Nobody will visit your website in the first three, four months after you publish it, so why bother? You will probably think, but hey, what about page speed? Will a slow website have any chances of ranking on Google? Yep, it can. One of my websites started to rank really well on Google before I moved it to a more powerful hosting server. Most of the cheap hosting providers can support up to 10,000 visits a month. When you are at that point, you can consider either to upgrade or move your website to a different hosting service. But when you are just starting out, there is no point on buying expensive hosting. Use the money that you save to create some good quality content on your website. If you plan to have more than one website, you can upgrade anytime. Don't buy more hosting than you need. 
you will end up paying for a subscription that you are not using. So buy whatever hosting meets your budget and as your website grows, you can upgrade your hosting. I think support is as important as your budget. You want to buy a hosting that have a really good support team, but how can you know that? Well, you know that on the front page of every website, you will find only the glowing customer reviews, not the bad ones. You can ask your friends or search on social media some groups about this topic. You can ask on Facebook groups or you can search on Reddit. People in general will offer you an honest opinion about their experience. And if you have a bad experience with a hosting provider, you can always move your website to a different hosting. And this is pretty simple. You can use a plugin like Only One Migrate, which is free, to move your whole website to a different server. You can also do it manually by saving a copy of your website's file and database, or you can use a backup service like Manage WP, which is also free, to create a backup of your website and restore it to another server. So before buying hosting service, look at your wallet and add some real reviews. I hope you found this video helpful, so subscribe, like, comment and share it.